get into a point where he can then go mid and maybe get the gank there. Axe rotates back up at the off lane, but then he's up against... <laughs> so Vega take the LC. Though, on that same note that we were making earlier, Bounty Hunter is halfway through level 3 at 4 minutes. This is maybe not a dream start for Bulba, especially now that he gets dusted. You had to say something. And, well, goddamn. Sorry, Bulba. <laughs> <laughs> That's on you. I am so sorry. <laughs> Band of Elvis kid, right? You do see that. Yes, yeah, I know. I know. I want to believe. Elvis dead, bro. It's so Manta. It's a defusal. And, well, speaking of over, Bulba's life for the second time will end. And this bounty. I've then seen it. They use the scan too. Mid lane, iceberg. And this shield is such a big over. kill. I think they got him, guys. Too. I think these five heroes do something. <laughs> Sick rotation from Luke. I guess yeah, movements are so predictable though. Like they literally just killed two wards in vision and then just like smoke mid. Like this is gonna work. Like they know they're here. Oh Except god, it might work. Oh, god, they don't know. That might not have been the play. Curl pops out. He gets off the eclipse, but the duel immediately follows. They trade Ogre for Luna, and now Mag in kind of deep. Bulba gets glimpsed back. Sunstrike might be enough. Mag gets slam dunked by mind control. A two for one and slap in the mid lane. Luna was farming bottom. I don't know if they could have made super easy rotations. I mean, it's I see true. why the Manta's good. And it's definitely a farming tool because Yasha gives you all the movement speed and all that kind of stuff. But I think in slow games like this, you can still like dual mid. The battle Fury is, is definitely good. Yeah, we got it here. Easy kill on Miracle. That was, uh... I think he's over there. God, these illusions, man. Ice this is Berg. nice bounty hunter play from Bulba. He's doing a ton of work this game, like so much scouting on the rotations, and that's allowing the split push game to come out from the radiant. Mm -hmm. Every time he's able to tell them when they rotate in and say, "Okay, leave, like get out of here." Oh, he actually got the solo kill. Whoa, that's just so important too. Yeah. Bumps back, Bulba. Dead zone. There's the duel. Another easy thousand to what? Not sure if they needed the static. So Bulba ping that like us. Uh, he's make. He's doing that thing where he makes it feel like Vega have less room on the map than they actually do. Hold that thought though. Is mind control initiates on the iceberg. Sun strike sets it up, and mind control can't even get off the dunk. It's a little bit of the uh, pirouette action there with the counter helix. Ah, uh, they got Miracle top kill. though. Oh yeah, this is a cool victory. One for one. Well. Fair Bulba gets tagged by but the dust. But still, I mean, Liquid can contest this. FN jumps in onto Miracle. Ghost Watch, he'll be fine. Double damage, still in a lot of duration here. Roach also pretty healthy. Sail by the Slayer on the back line. He gets picked off. Now the real fight breaks out. They trade Axe for Disruptor, but FNG getting low. They can't get him with the Eclipse, but Bounty Hunter will finish off the Jug. Now on the side, Spirit got the Ogre. Getting low, is that what it was? <laughs> yeah. Iceberg gets off the Astral, but he's certainly going to die. Mag. Might still live. Oh, look at look at Bulba giving the kill over to Merrick. What a nice guy. Sunstrike! Oh. Him being the first to die and kind of throwing out the old as a last ditch effort, I think. Pretty much secures the fight for Liquid. All yeah, the best part is that the game is over now because that was all track kills, so. <laughs> Got this, guys. So, yeah. Liquid have done it. They have taken the Roche. They won a big track fight, they've knocked down every single tower. They have pinned in the dire side. So what happens now? Bubba starts to fall off a little bit in terms of overall usefulness. Darn that em. big fight helps though, because his mech is on the way. Uh oh. Uh oh, Trent. Here we go. Smoke broken by Bulba. Even if he dies here, it's so worth it. They dust him. They omni slash him. But now the jig is up. Luna comes in. Kuro drops the hammer, kills the disruptor. Dual miracle. Ben. He's dead. Two fights breaking out. They kill Miracle on the back line. But now FN caught by the axe, slam dunked. Another one of these broad. Is that Just on your Tinder profile? It probably is. <laughs> it should be. I should put it in there. <laughs> about social control. media. Verified on Twitter. Oh, God. That would get you my control walks right into it. But hey, there's a tornado to help break it up. Still, he gets school, takes a lot of damage, and the Red Man Axe will go down. But now Kuro comes in, drops the Eclipse. Could still be an okay fight for Liquid. FNG taking a lot of damage off to the side. He'll fall next. They go one for one. Mag, he runs one way. Stay over the Slayer, the other. TP home, Bulba can't find the vision, and that will be the end it's expected. Yeah. No way the Dyer can contest this. Kuro bought a BKB, so I guess Miracle gets it. That's nice. Thanks, man.
All right, not much. There we go. Glyph comes out. They're just gonna slow siege it, I think, and finish off this tower. Iceberg. Hurricane Pike is gonna cost him. They can match your mana pool. Easy tower. They still have this hero alpha wolf. Dude, it's still alive. Kuro, this is like Kuro's baby, man. Look at the glaze. Just look at the glaze. Just look at it. On the back line, that's an Omni Slash. They get two. Oh, no, pardon me. Just the Bounty Hunter. Axe now. Caught inside. But Iceberg, BKB on. Kuro pops his. Now the real fight breaks out. Iceberg trying to push him back. He's doing big damage. Oh, Mind Control goes down. But Kuro just cleaning house. They have no answer for this Luna. Bag should be a dual win, possibly a miracle? Still ages though, and he's linked to go Matumba instead. Don't think that he's gonna be able to, even if he jumps on Matumba. He needs the help. Cool. Matumba. Later. What reaction? What yeah. reaction? Now he's trying to bait it too. He doesn't even go for the duel. OD now coming around the backside. FN's here. Miracle and Matumba. They're in deep, but Kuro is focusing on structures. Now mind control. He's bought back. He gets in. Sayo with the Slayer dies. FN getting low. Spin away. Miracle will chase him down, but it's Iceberg. He reinitiates. It's the end of the Aegis. Puts the other inside of the Astro, and now the chase is on. TP's home. Iceberg will make it back. But you know what, Trent? I don't know if any of that really see, matters. Yeah, did you see how angrily Kuro took this down and this yeah. down? That's a support player who's so sick of carries, never attacking buildings, and then they like dive out and shit. I mean, That's what that was right there. That entire fight was just Kuro focusing on structures outside of his ultimate on. Here we go, the final hold. FN gets destroyed. Bounty Hunter gets credit for the kill, and FNG goes down as well. Illusion like doing the work. objective gamer. Kuro, the hero, <laughs> secures the Mega Creep and Vega. Push back into certain doom here. Liquid come online and they do it in a fury. 29k net worth at the end of this game on Kuro. Very impressive performance on the yeah. Luna, man. He farmed well. Very, uh, like, great draft and a much more difficult to execute lineup. Using the vision from the Bounty Hunter to do seamless split pushing throughout the entire mid game. Mind Control did a really nice build where he just like was like budget axe because it was like he did the blink first because he like he had to be there to counter out the aggression that had to come in from the five man.